we will see today how to claim for non-medical uh, uh, coverage, insurance coverage, with safety wing nomad insurance. In previous videos, we've shown how simple it is to uh, set up an account, uh, get covered even after you've started traveling, even if you've already left your home country. So if you haven't done it, uh, the link is in the description to uh, get covered. And we'll see now how easy it is on your dashboard. Once you're logged in, all you have to do is submit a claim. So here we go to submit a claim, select if it's medical, non-medical. We'll see now how to submit a non-medical claim so for something like a concert flight, stolen electronics or natural disaster evacuation. Continue. Now we have to select the date of event. Here we can only select one day because our policy starts today. So we cannot claim for something that happened before. The policy covers us, of course, in which country, for example, in Thailand. Up. In uh, Bangkok, we had our non-medical issue and how much we claim, how much was the uh, invoice uh, uh, covered on the bill. For example, US dollars, but you can also select the currency such as uh, Thai bats in Thailand. Let's say it was for 10,000 Thai bats. Now, all we have to do is go next and simply describe what happened. So whatever it is, if your flight was uh, canceled, you lost your luggage, there was natural disaster, uh, you, um, yeah, depending on your add-ons, uh, for example, um, you got electronics uh, theft, all you have to do is to enter the description here. So for example, my uh, laptop uh, stolen in the street. So of course you should probably uh, go with more explanations. This is just an example. Now save it next. Uh, tell them if the um, if you've already claimed somewhere else, if you have other insurance policies for this, and uh, enter more information if that's the case. So that's not our case. Go next, then we have to enter our passport number. So it's ABC123123 ABC. And enter the bank account on which you would like uh, to be uh, reimbursed, uh, the currency you use, for example, US dollars, but can be anything, and the details. So here I have already entered my details. If it's not the case, you have to fill everything manually. And then upload your documents. So invoice receipts, reports from police or from airline, proof of ownership of uh, items you're claiming. And of course, we can always contact them if we are unsure about the documentation we need. Let's upload, for example, this is a proof of uh, losing uh, my laptop. And here we have the summary, double check that everything is okay, confirm that information is true, authorize them to share information and authorize Safety Wing to collect um, everything related to the claim. And that's it. You're all set, so it took us it took us less than three minutes to set up a claim. Uh, of course, if you have more information to enter, it can take longer, but the process itself is very fast. Make sure you have everything uh, clear, clearly explained, a clear explanation of what, what happened, uh, your documents, uh, very important, of course, uh, all the documents related to the claim, so uh, what happened, how much it cost, uh, any, uh, any report, any... Uh, uh, maybe email you might have gotten, any um, any any proof official, uh, eventually stamped and signed when it's um, official, such as the police report, and that's all. Then we can go to check claim status, and here in our claims list, uh, let them load. Not loading today. If not loading, ah, just the system is slow today. But here you will uh, see in the dashboard uh, claim list, the list of existing claim. And you can, of course, always create a new claim for any reason. Oh, okay, so we are back here. If we go to the claims list, I'll let it load. Does it want to load today? No, today it doesn't want to load. <laughs> ah, I have been, I have been uh, unlocked. So small issue I have been disconnected ah, I also always have troubles with my connection so if we go to claims here we have the list of our claims so this is the claim we've just oops, this one is the claim we've just created for a travel related uh, issue and the status is currently submitted we will be notified when it's accepted when it's reimbursed or if not we'll know why here we have a claim number 
we will be able to view nodes once uh, they will be available and we can always submit new claims. So very simple process, very uh, efficient. Again, uh, you can uh, get a safety wing nomad insurance coverage even after you've left your home country. Link is in the description. Uh, process is very simple, very efficient, and um, it covers any digital nomad traveling, but also just a simple uh, traveler. But usually, uh, travelers uh, um, uh, will not maybe not uh, travel more than uh, four weeks. They will uh, go for shorter uh, travels, but for digital nomads, but don't know where they go, which, which country they will be in the next month, how long they will travel. This is the most comprehensive insurance. The process is very simple to claim uh, anything if, in case something happens. And uh, you can see, for example, when a claim is uh, going forward, here you have the progress bar progressing. So very simple, uh, try safety wing, list, uh, link is in the description and let us know how you like it.